This first section looks at some of the historic uses of microorganisms and why they've been so useful to humans. Microorganisms have always been used throughout human history, with yeast being used for brewing and making bread as far back as the ancient Egyptians. Advances in science, however, have seen a rapid rise in the use of microorganisms. Bacteria are especially useful for industrial and genetic processes, as they reproduce rapidly, which means that you can produce large numbers of them, and the products they produce very quickly and cheaply. Some of their DNA is found in plasmids, which can be modified easily, allowing us to adapt them to meet our needs. Their internal biochemistry is relatively simple and well understood, so we know how to use them. They can make complex chemicals from simple substrates. And lastly, unlike where animals are used, there's no ethical opposition to growing and using them. Fermentation is the process by which we can grow large numbers of bacteria or fungi on a large scale. We use this to produce antibiotics and other medicines, making enzymes to produce biofuels, or to make the enzymes needed in biological washing powders. They can also be used to make enzymes for food processing. A really good example is making chymosin, which acts as a vegetarian substitute for rennet, which is used in the production of most cheeses.